Hello. Um, hi, Spencer. Um, so hi. I'll, I'll address four questions to you. And um, okay. the first one is, well, just mm, present yourself. Speak a little bit about who you are, where you are, what you do. Okay. So, hello, everyone. My name is Spencer Wang. I'm a senior industrial design student in Jiangnan University, China. And it's my privilege to be here in this interview. Okay, thank you very much. Um, you. So, so um, this interview is a little bit linked to the crisis currently, but obviously also to your personal context as a designer. How much does the current crisis influence your design project or your professional project? Well, thank you for your question. Um, currently, uh, the majority of Chinese students have returned to their school since the pandemic situation in China is moving towards a positive situation. So um, we nowadays, we go to our classes, we do our assignments in that ordinary way. Uh, but what the, the true impact of the pandemic nowadays is that the sterilization routine and the, the personal health condition check has been put to priority ever since the pandemic. And, um, but the pandemic did affect my design project earlier this year when I was born China at home. Um, firstly, online group discussion was really challenging for me. Uh, in my opinion, uh, discussion is such an hard uh, interactive event that demands constant uh, concentration on others' words and adjusting your words so that everyone else can get your point clearly. But there were so many distractions in my house so that it would definitely cost a lot more energy for me to um, uh, keep up with others' words and uh, make the discussion go on well. So I think that's the first uh, uh, problem I faced when I was uh, born inside at home. Uh, secondly, um, I think that um, uh, as an industrial design student, sometimes we need to build prototypes for products. But um, uh, since we are born in China at home, we need to buy everything from screw to chip without the company of my group members so, and build them with, with my own hands. So that was really challenging. Uh, you know, I, in the past, it was usually a uh, group work of building this kind of prototype. So I think that's the two main headaches for me when I was uh, quarantined at the pandemic period, right? That's it. Okay, but how, I mean, this, this, did this crisis, sorry, did this crisis uh, have an influence on your, like also on the subjects of your projects or is the focus different now? Yeah, we definitely have more focusing on the post-pandemic world building. Um, we did a, a project on service design during pandemic, uh, like in April and uh, like in March and April focusing on the uh, taxi drivers in China about how they deliver the goods from neighborhood to neighborhood, from shop to neighborhood, and how they can work, work, work better with their phone using our application designed especially for this uh, pandemic period. Right? And um, we also did, um, you know, since we were quarantined most of the time this year, uh, another project of ours is about how to um, make uh, uh, inclusive design, that is to uh, have concern on um, people of every age and uh, that um, they can use the uh, same system of uh, product to exercise in their own house. Um, it was uh, some kind of a smart device that uh, based on Arduino and uh, we um, spent some time uh, de uh, developing how we can uh, connect people with this kind of smart device in this pandemic period. Uh, that to encourage them to um, work out at home because, you know, we, with bad, everything is harder with bad, you know. So I think that's another uh, uh, attempt on how we can build this pandemic, post-pandemic period, well, right, in my designer's view. And uh, in this semester, we began our school with uh, uh, one uh, cross-disciplinary design project with environmental design students. Uh, it's about how we can build public... Uh, uh, restaurants in this post-pandemic period, right? and um, we are now, you know, still trying to figure out how to make the the uh, outdoor eating more, uh, more outdoor eating safer in this post-pandemic period. Right? I think that's how the crisis influenced my project uh, due to its theme. That's it. 
Okay, so, so these projects are like long lasting projects, yeah? Because when you speak about a post crisis era, so you're thinking yep. on the long term, not just like a pop up something that will go away once the Corona crisis is uh, limited, right? Yeah, it's a long term thing we are trying to do. Very interesting, thank you. So in, in a more general way, um, well, also in a more, on, on the feeling-based way, what, what do you fear? Are there any fears, any feelings um, or wishes that you have for the design community? Well, at first, uh, earlier this year, I fear that as designers, we can't really help with the development of uh, medical treatment solutions or vacancy. Um, uh, but I'm glad that things are moving on in a positive direction nowadays. But then um, I, I was really inspired by how the design community was united to um, de develop some solutions for medical treatment with what we can. For example, the 3D printed tube separator in New York designed for uh, uh, dealing with the issue of the lack of a breathing machine in hospitals in New York. I think that's a really good way of how we can practically use our technology to um, help with this pandemic period. And that was really inspiring. And uh, I wish that the community can uh, spend more time like this to discuss more about how we, our different countries, uh, deal with this kind of public health issues in the future so that we, maybe we can um, develop a system in a designer's view to deal with this kind of issue. Thank you. Okay, so would you say that designers are somehow facilitators? for these new inventions or for this new vision? Uh, maybe uh, the majority of what I was talking about is about uh, uh, designers that uh, are more uh, related to facilities like the 3D printer or something, that they, they've got the skill and the knowledge of working with this kind of machine. Okay, thank you. So is there a message that you would like to address to the design community? Yeah, um, I think personally, uh, I want to say about this crisis is that um, in Chinese, um, the word crisis is called Wei Ji. The former letter means um, danger. The latter one means, means opportunity because we Chinese believe that in every danger, there's an opportunity inside. So maybe it's also uh, a chance in this pandemic period for us to rethink about how we can, as designers, we can develop the solutions, the um, treatments we can develop to face this kind of public health issue. That's all I want to say. Okay, 